Here's how to connect your M32 or X32 console to your computer, your phone, your iPad, or all of them at the same time. First thing, go to setup and check the firmware version your console is running. If you're running an older version, I'd highly suggest you update it. I'm gonna leave links to the download pages of Midas and Behringer in the description below. So go ahead and download the latest firmware update, put it on a USB stick, plug it into the console, and just click on the firmware and let it do its thing. Then go ahead and download the M32 Edit or X32 Edit, which is the control app for Mac and PC. And make sure to get the version of the app that matches the version of the firmware you're running on your console. Next, you're gonna grab an Ethernet cable and plug it here where it says Ethernet. And it doesn't really matter if it's CAT5 or CAT6 because this is just a control signal. We're not passing through it any audio like we do with the AS50 ports. Then you're gonna plug this also into your laptop and open the app. It's either gonna ask you at first to connect or if it doesn't ask you, you can go to the setup and choose your mixer and then here it says either mixer to PC or PC to mixer this means that if you have something going on on your mixer you choose this and it will transfer everything to your computer if you have edited the scene or whatever on your computer and you want to send that to your mixer you're gonna choose PC to mixer I'm gonna stay on that one for now connect let it do its thing okay great but we're not done yet because if I move a fader right here yeah, it shows on the screen, but if I change to any other page, nothing happens. So I'm going to go to the setup and go to GUI preferences and make sure to check selected screen follows mixer and selected channel follows mixer. And now, if I change to any other page, it will show right here, which is awesome. Now, to connect your mobile phone or your iPad, you're going to need a router like the regular one you use for your internet connection, the Wi-Fi and you're gonna plug the ethernet cable from the mixer right here. It should say LAN, nothing is written on here, but these are for the local area network. This is for the internet. Don't plug into the internet port because we're not controlling the mixer through internet. Okay, I've done this mistake before. These four are next to each other. This one is lonely at the corner don't use it or if you're using one of these older routers that run on the landline telephone cable there's less room for error because the ethernet cable doesn't even fit here so the only place you can plug is right here now i'm going to take that same ethernet cable that's plugged into the back of the console and plug it right here in one of these ports then i'm going to go to the phone and go to the internet and i'm going to connect it to the router Type in a password and whenever you're doing a live show, just make sure that your router has a password. It's not just open for anyone to connect to it. You don't want to risk it. Now, unfortunately for Android, there isn't an app from the company. It's only for iOS. However, there is an independent developer who made an app. It's called Mixing Station. You can get it on your Android phone. If you're running iOS, you can just go to the App Store and download the M32 or X32 app from there. Now I'm going to open the app. It's called Mixing Station and connect. If it gives you this error that the IP is wrong, just go to the console, set up network and check this IP and fix it right here. So say no, click on the IP and type it out. Okay, and now it should connect. Okay, now this is very cool. When I saw a digital console for the first time with motorized faders, I was like, how cool is that? I mean, you can just grab your phone and walk away from the console and people will see faders moving on their own. Unfortunately, I don't have an iPad or any Apple devices at the moment to demonstrate on, but it's the same process like we did with the phone. And if you want to hook up multiple devices to the mixer, you can do it all wirelessly like I did with the phone or you can get an extra ethernet cable and plug it right here next to the other one. And the last very important step is to hit the like button. I mean, you're still watching till now, you obviously liked the video. Here are more tutorials on this console and I also make music, not just tutorials. So here are some epic covers for you. Click on one of them and I'll see you in the next video.